This weekend we'll pause to remember the 9-11 terror attacks and people in Oskaloosa aren't waiting for Saturday's 20th anniversary. Roger Riley joins us live from there with details on a special three day long event. Hey, Roger. Hey, uh, Dan, you know, I'm here on the scenic square in Oskaloosa today. Uh, high school students were out here putting up 2,977 flags for each person killed. After the towers fell, uh, the last thing standing in the rubble was like a cross of two beams that fell on each other. Uh, the towers weren't the only thing that, were, that was hit during that terrorist attack. I believe the Pentagon got hit and another plane fell into uh, some random field. Now, now, as these flags were going up around the square, it was interesting to talk to these students who know what they have learned in school and heard from their parents. They seem to realize that this is something our country will not forget. So what we're doing here today is really like significant for us because it really shows us how many people lost their life in this uh, travesty. So we're setting up 3,000 flags in memory of this event and it's really just so surreal because you don't think about it until you take the time to put up um, each flag for every person. So. Now everything's in place here. The vigil itself kind of kicks off informally at five o'clock. And um, there's also a display of timeline of the events off back in the background by the fire truck. And there's a Musco lighting truck as Musco uh, sends some trucks to New York City and to the Pentagon. Now the whole idea is not one big massive event, but a 72 hour event. People can come and go and it'll be open 24 seven until five o'clock Sunday night. So if you want to come by here and check this out, it's right on the square in downtown Oskaloosa, Dan. Yeah, we can just imagine how incredible that's going to look at night as well. Yeah. Thank you, Roger.